Hi guys, this is All Things Cupcake 2000, and today I have a charm update for you guys. So let's get started. Started. The so the first charm I have for you guys is this Alice in Wonderland chibi, and I really love this how this turned out. So it's just a really plain Alice in Wonderland chibi. The next charm I have is this Rockstar Chibi, and I made this for a tutorial on my collab, not my collab channel, a collab channel that I'm on, and it's called Worldwide Crafters. So he has like a leather jacket with a mohawk, and the theme for that week was Rockstar, and that was one week ago. So yesterday was Friday, and Friday is my day for the collab channel. So I made this purse since this week's theme is fashion, and it has this texture on it with these little gold clasps. And to go inside that, I made this little mirror with pearls on the end, and then this little makeup palette, and this is like a blush palette with um, a pearl right there. Um, the next charm I made is inspired by... Um, inspired by XX Surface. I saw it from her, but she said it was inspired by Autumn Breeze. So I guess it's inspired by both of them. So she made a tutorial on this and um, it's a cake and mine has a banana slice, a strawberry slice, and a kiwi slice. And then it's really textured in the inside and it has translucent um, multicolor micro marbles. And then I forgot to put the micro marbles on this little cake slice. Um, so that. Then I made this little ice cream cup inspired by Yummy Charms, and I really love this. This little waffle, and this is actually made out of the translucent Primo um, clay. So I shaded it, and I think it looks really actually cool with the translucent clay. And this is how it is just regular, but um, since I shaded it, it changed color. Mine has a little chocolate drizzle right there with banana and strawberry. And um, yeah, I really like that one for some reason. Since I didn't have any more tan clay left, I just used that one. So next I have this Nyanko Cat tart and mine has a strawberry in the middle and blueberries. That's how I saw them all the time. So should I say mine? But anyways. I really like this charm and it has a little head and a little tail and then it's shaded in texture. Um, then I have this taco and it is inspired by Tony Elson's tutorial and it has real black pepper in it. So mine lost a little tomato slice right there so whatever but anyways. I added a sour cream to mine because I love sour cream on my tacos. I just love it. And then um, also it's textured the ground beef. Then I made a charm inspired by Mucha Love You. And um, it's just like one of those baking sets, like assembly sets. So I have a little green cookie and it has multicolor micro marbles and it's textured. Both of them are textured actually, so yeah. And then um, I have this one and it's a heart with pink and brown drizzle with pearls and then this is stuck in the bowl these micro marbles are stuck in with just plain old translucent liquid sculpty so um yeah you just stick them in with that and mix it in a little and then bake it and then it will show up clear and then um i was watching the movie war horse so while i was doing that i made these realistic key little platters plates, cookies on plates, um, and they're shaded and textured, and the chocolate chips are really realistic, I think, so I really like these, and they're like miniatures, I guess, and then to go with those, I made these little hot chocolates or coffees, I prefer hot chocolate, of course, because I'm not a coffee drinker, um, then I had leftover clay, so I made these two cookies, and they just look like that. So they're pretty random. And I know most of you probably have seen this or not. Um, I made a new Flutterfly, and um, I just made it after one of my old charms. So this is my original idea. So if you could please credit me, um, that would be awesome. I would love that so much. It's called a flutterfly, and it's half bear, half butterfly, and my friend came up with that. 
So here is the bear features I'm going to point out right now. The ears and the paws and stuff. And then it has wings and um, these little antennas. So I really, really like this. And um, it is a baby flutterfly, so it has a diaper. And um, I came up with this thinking about Pokemon because I used to be really into Pokemon when I first started polymer clay. So yeah, I really love this charm. I mean creation. Um, the next charms I have for you are a whole set of things. So I'm gonna get started on them. So it's a whole set of bows. Yeah, who loves bows? I do. Um, so this is the first bow I ever made out of polymer clay and I really like it. So this is a keychain part of the set. I'm going to put the keychain on that. And then after that, I made a bow ring. Um, so yeah, it just looks like that. And I really love how this one turned out. And it just goes in like that. And it matches with my nails too. Um, then I asked my sister if she wanted me to make her one and um, she said yes. So it's blue and it has black polka dots and I think it's really, really cute. And then I made a set for myself. So these are part of the set. And the other parts are this hair clip and um, I need to super glue this better or I mean, um, hot glue gun it better but this is a barrette and it has a little gem on the side and it just pops open like that so it's those really strong ones and I really love how these bows are turning out um then for that set I made this necklace and it looks like this and it's a little pendant thingy so I put eye pins on the side so I could hold it in the middle and then it kind of has this little thing right here so I think it's really, really, really cool. So if you're if you try to make this, um, you're going to probably want to put tons of TLS right here. Um, I used a glue gun, and my glue gun had black glue gun um, sticks in it, so it looked pretty ugly. Right? It looks pretty ugly, but anyways, um, since these parts are hollow when you bake them, put hot glue and then put your eye pins when it dries put your eye pins and put super glue on your eye pins so it can stick to the hot glue so it's kind of like cemented in because I couldn't figure out a way how to make it very secure so you can wiggle around in it um, and the last thing to go with that set are these bow earrings so they just look like that so yeah, this is All Things Cupcake 2000, and I really hope you enjoyed this charm update number 14. So yeah, bye.